everyone i'm nancy welcome to my channel i am going to be doing another plan with me week so i want to thank you for joining me i know that this is not uh something that a lot of people are into that watch my channel so i want to thank you for your patience if you do take the time to watch even fast forwarding it i appreciate that i hope that you give this video a thumbs up even if you didn't like it it just makes me feel good to know that somebody did watch it with me and if you are one of my returning subscribers or viewers i want to thank you so much for joining me again it means the world to me to have you stop in and visit if you are new to my channel i hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there i would love to have you come back and join me again so this was uh the last one that i did and this week i'm going to be doing uh january 6 monday january 6th through Sunday, January 12th. And I'm going to be using this Nutcracker kit from Perfect Prints. And I got this during the Black Friday sale, so I've just been waiting for a chance to do it. It's got some foiling on it already, so it should be very, very pretty. Again, these are gonna all be made for the uh, vertical kit, so I'm gonna have to trim them down to fit into my spaces. The same with the washi, so the washi is really pretty with some uh, New Year's Eve fireworks. I've already put the days of the week here uh, and the dates on them. Got tons of boxes. We've got what they call for their header strips and it's already foiled. Don't know if I'm going to be able to use these or not, so we'll see how that plays out. And again, we've got some script, we've got some deco, some more boxes, some smaller boxes. So we've got a lot of things to work with in this kit. The pictures that I pulled this week aren't really family pictures, but they are my Nutcracker pictures because I love Nutcrackers. So I don't know if all of these will make it into the book or just a couple of them. So we've just got some of the Nutcrackers I've collected over the few a few years. I was going to count them one year because my insurance guy said I had to, but I never did. I started to make a list, but I never finished it. So the joke with my husband was that um, I only have 50 nutcrackers and he would say something to me and it was kind of like a little snide remark and then I'd say, and want to tell me how much you spent on your motorcycles this year? And he'd say, well, let's call it even. And I'd say, well, we're not even. I got more nutcrackers to buy. So I'm not done yet. But anyway, I've got, uh, I picked some washi from a Simply Gilded. So I've got like a pretty shade of like a periwinkle blue, kind of like a grayish lavender and then pink. These all have some foiled stars on them. So anyway, we are going to, I'm going to shut everything down and fast forward it a few things so I can get down the basics and then I will be right back.
Alrighty, so I decided because I just had to cut so much to get it to fit into this, it was just easier or faster for, for me to just kind of cut and paste and put things in. And then I just, while I was at it, I figured I might as well just finish it and then come back at the end and just kind of go over some things. So this, again, it was the Perfect Prince Company, the Nutcracker Fun Kit that I used weekly kit. It's got nice foil. I did end up using some of these uh, header strips that I used as separators. Some of these but i still have a ton of script i still have some full boxes left lots of full boxes some more washi some more half boxes and some quarter boxes just a lot of items came in this kit so i have got enough to maybe work on this uh another kit maybe later on in this year do another nutcracker one or maybe wait until next season to use it so this is what my finished spread looks like and I didn't have a lot going on this week. So usually, um, you know, I use those full boxes here and to write things in. So I just decided to be a little bit more artistic or creative and use some of the half boxes and some more script to put in. So I started off uh, like I usually do. I put in the temperature, my elliptical steps, and uh, on the my Fitbit steps. So I started adding that as well. So the temperatures this week, we, the low this week, well, this week was minus 6 to uh, 32 degrees for the high. We had two days of snow. Sunday was the, the most snow that we got, and again, it was only about 2 inches. I did not even go out and shovel. I just drove over it on Monday morning. I figured I would worry about it later. So, anyway, just getting back into this, um, I think the most... The best day that I had on the elliptical was Monday. I started off the week nice and strong with 18,433 steps. Uh, it was for 6.57 hours. I should have just done another three, three minutes before I left, but I didn't. And 7.37 miles. Um, towards the end of the week, I got sick at the end of the week, and so I kind of really drifted off Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday. I didn't have any steps on the elliptical. Uh, so on Monday, so to do, I had to put in an It Works order, and It Works, um, I've got a friend of a husband, um, used to be one of my husband's best uh, buddies that used to work on his bikes for, for him. She got into It Works this year, so I've been buying a few things from her. So I've been getting, uh, in the morning, I drink with the, it's just celery, and it's like a little measuring scoop of just a celery powder in water it's supposed to help with my blood pressure keep it low but sometimes when i feel like it's getting too low i skip a few days um, i also get um, some chocolate powder from her that's got all these vitamins and minerals in it and i use that in my protein shakes just for a little extra extra and i also get keto coffee from her that i put in my protein shakes and i do that about every other day i alternate between using fruit in my protein shakes and the keto coffee so i wanted to finalize that order because i do get it every month and sometimes i just switch off and off what i need more and then after work there was a sale at the coach outlet so I had, even though I already bought some earlier this month, that I, I wouldn't have bought another one. So anyway, I was happy with that. I love getting things on sale. Um, I ended up that night working on YouTube. I got about three hours in, um, and that was watching other people's videos, responding to them, and then also responding to some of my comments. On Tuesday, um, I worked on, oh, I got some more uh, little notebooks to separate the, some of the sticker kits that I have. So I just kind of separated them by seasons and um, took out ones that had like um, the little people in it. I don't even know what you call them because I'm so new at this. And then the script. So I just kind of separated them to kind of make it easier to find. I also worked on YouTube for about four hours that night. So I was pretty excited about that. So then I just used this get it done sticker because I was happy that I got out for, I worked, still worked a 10 hour day and I still did four hours on YouTube. So I was happy with that and separating those books. Wednesday. Of course, it's trash day, but I got these cute little uh, stickers here, a little uh, girl from a sugary gal shop. So I used that for my trash day. It was also recycled, so I wanted to get that out. I also uploaded, I had got the uh, Scentsy, the 
uh, January warmer of the month, which was the Himalayan salt warmers. Oh my gosh, I love them. They are so pretty. So anyway, I quick uh, did a quick video on that and uploaded that. I just wanted to get it out there and, and up in case anybody else wanted one, that they could uh, see it while it was still the warmer of the month to get it on sale. I also had ordered those sheets, those blanket sheets, those Berkshire sheets from um, QVC. So they came in on Wednesday. So I got my sheets off. I got them washed and got, got the bed made. So, and that chain of sheets was also part of that nutcracker kit that I just got. So I was happy about that. Thursday. So I had ordered this and I, I had mentioned in another video that I got a Pilates reformer because I really start, wanted to start working on my core. So anyway, that came in. So I actually set it up by myself. I was so proud and that's why I put you are awesome, not because I was like, hey, Nancy, you're awesome. It was because I did it by myself. I got it in the house. I made a few noises. I didn't have any witnesses, so that was pretty good. Got it in, got it set up, and I actually worked out for about 15, 20 minutes on it. And so I got that little workout sticker that was also part of this kit. So really happy with that. It was a lot of fun. Came with a couple of videos. Just I think it's going to be a lot of fun, very helpful. I also did a small uh, Walmart order online just to kind of order some more like toilet paper and like toothpaste, things like that. So that way I get it on Ebates, so I get credit for it. I get um, that Ebates and then plus it comes to the house. I don't even have to go out and get it. Okay, so that brings us to Friday. So Friday, it's my mom's birthday. So I just did a little foiled cake there and a little birthday sticker that says mom. And then I also, because I got a couple of stickers in and I wanted to just get that done, I also filmed a little video of uh, the sticker, my sticker haul, and my little Friday girl um, from Planner Kate. And then a PS stickers, I still had a Christmas tree left, so I put that in there because I had got this um, tree. And at first I had ordered it from Walmart. Um, it was a, a, the new little Christmas tree with the fiber optics. So I ordered it from Walmart, was so excited when it came in, went to put it up and the fiber optics didn't work on the top part of the tree. So anyway, took a little bit of running around and I, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for them to decide if they're gonna credit me or go through the manufacturer, I ordered another one from Amazon, had it in two days, set it up, it was done. But um, anyway, Walmart decided that um, they credited my account, told me I could keep that tree. It wasn't worth it for them to take it back because it didn't work. I had shown them some pictures of it and they told me I could keep it. Um, I could still you know, put regular lights on it or I could donate it to someone. So one of the guys that works, he puts all these robots and things together for, um, you know, to automate the machine. And I had mentioned it to him. So he said, take it in. I'll take a look at it. So I put that there to remind me to take it in. And he had it fixed like within 15 minutes. He soldered some wires and it was good to go. So anyway, I left the tree at work because the tree we had at work, the, the lights didn't work anymore. So I thought maybe someone there could work, use it because I still have two trees at home. So anyway, I put this weekend kit up here for Saturday. Um, I also put this little uh, computer girl from Plan Arcade on because I also uploaded. Uh, I, I was feeling really good in the morning. So I uploaded the, uh, the sticker haul that I did. Got that on YouTube. Played a little bit on, well, worked a little bit on YouTube. Um, I stopped on the way to work and got some gas. I got to work about 10 o'clock and... Things went downhill really fast. I just got sick as could be. I don't think I have ever been that sick in my life. Have no idea why. Um, no one was at work with me for most most of that time. And probably like within an hour after that, I couldn't even look at the screen. It was just making me dizzy and just running back and forth to the uh, ladies room. Um, when I started and I, I, I knew I wanted to go home, but I was just too shaky. I knew I couldn't drive. And one of the guys came in to pick up some supplies. He was going out of town and he didn't like the way I looked. He was going to drive me home and I was like, oh, you know, I'll be fine. I'm just going to stay here till I feel better. Oh, and he, so he ended up calling my bosses. So it kind of made me feel like an idiot. But uh, so anyway, I didn't get any steps in really. I was just by the time I, I probably did do the elliptical for a little bit at work on Saturday, but um, it, it wasn't long before I it, whatever it was, just kind of set in. Sunday, um, I didn't go into work at all. 
Um, I just put that little sleep in there. I just stayed in bed. So I've got this little popcorn guy. Um, of course, I didn't have any popcorn because, yeah, the smell was just making me sick. I was still sick. I just stayed in bed all day on Sunday. I just had Netflix on. I watched QVC. I watched H Home Shopping Network. But so I did not get any steps in and on the elliptical and really didn't even pay attention to what was on my Fitbit. Um, so anyway, I did put some of the Nutcracker pitches in for my home. So I've got some of my, uh, these are the Steinbrecht ones. I really love those ones, but I love the ones that I get like at Walmart and K Walmart and Target too. I love them all. And I got another picture here of some of my Nutcrackers, uh, some more here and here. And then of course, just some of the full boxes from the kit. So anyway, I am loving the way this that this came out. And uh, anyway, so I, I hate to keep bothering people with these, but I figure if I if I don't do these um, and tell people how I'm doing, like with my steps and my weight. Oh, and because I didn't, I used this, I didn't put my little weight girl in. So I put uh, my weight in here. So I started the week Monday at 112.2. I finished on Sunday with 108.8. So... From going on vacation and going up to 120 pounds and within two weeks I'm down to 108 pounds of course getting sick I'm sure I had something to do with it but anyway but if I don't do these I just figure I'm going to get off track I want to stay motivated to continue to exercise I want to keep the book fun with these sticker kits and just adding some pictures of my own keeping track of my steps um, and my weight and I think that's is helping me stay on track to reach my fitness goals and now that I've got that Pilates reformer I'm really getting excited to do some more core exercising and really start building up my strength so I want to thank everyone for joining me again I hope you give this video a thumbs up and even if it's not your style or not your cup of tea if you just watch a few minutes just click on like it would really mean a lot to me so I hope everyone goes out has a great week whether you are planning your week or you just do it day by day, day by day, I wish you a lot of luck, have a lot of fun, and we will chat again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.